Hi boys and girls, I hope you're safe and well. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the Chinese New Year. So I have a PowerPoint for you to read through all about who celebrates the Chinese New Year, what they do during these celebrations and why they celebrate it. I have then got a true or false section for you to take part in and then a little art activity at the end which I'll explain during the video. Hope you enjoy. So let's have a little look at some facts about China. The country of China is in Northeast Asia. China is the fourth biggest country in the world. It has a largest, the largest population in the world of over 1.4 billion people. The capital city of China is Beijing, which is in the Northeast part of the country. Here I've just given you a little um, map, well it's a map of the world to show you where China is in relation to where we are. So the arrow is obviously showing us and the coloured part is um, China. In the north of China there are mountains where it snows much of the year. The south is filled with jungles and it is very hot and humid. In between are mountain ranges deserts, fields and river. Although China has all different kinds of weather, it usually, usually doesn't become too extreme. However, sometimes there are large floods, blizzards and droughts. The Chinese New Year. Well, the Chinese New Year starts somewhere between late January and early February. The dates change from year to year because it follows an ancient farmer calendar. This year, the Chinese New Year began just on Friday there, the 12th of February, and it lasts for 15 days. It's one of the most important holidays in China. That's why it goes on for that amount of time. Each year, the Chinese New Year is named after a different animal. The Chinese believe that people born in a particular year take on the different characteristics of the animal associated with that year and this year is the year of the ox. So the Chinese believe that the ox represents born leaders who will work hard to achieve their aims. So hard-working people, they're dependable, good organisers and they're not easily influenced by others so they've got their own thoughts and feelings and they're not afraid to show it. They're patient, loyal to their friends and expect loyalty in return and they tend to have long lasting relationships. Have a little look here and see if you can see what your zodiac sign is. You could pause the film just to have a little look so you can see that they've got the 12 animals there. Each animal has got a, a year so you would find the year that you were born it would tell you what animal you're associated with and what the Chinese believe your good and perhaps not so good points are. Have a little look there if you wish. So, Chinese New Year has different stages throughout the 15 days. Lots of different celebrations take place. So the first thing that the Chinese like to do before the new year is to spring clean their houses and gardens to sweep away any of the bad luck from the previous year. They then decorate their house with um, scrolls and lanterns and they write phrases, happy phrases and phrases of good wealth on them. All unfinished business is settled so there's a fresh start to the new year. New Year's Eve, families gather together and have large traditional feasts of fish and chicken. People stay up until midnight setting off fireworks and they believe this is to scare the evil spirits away. On New Year's Day, children receive little red envelopes filled with money and sweets from their parents and grandparents. You can see a little example of that at the bottom. Every family member starts the day with brand new clothes from head to toe. Red is a very popular colour for clothing as it is considered a lucky colour. 
Over the next few days, things take place, including visiting family and having special dinners. Some people um, visit temples and have their fortunes told. By the fourth day, most people go back to work. However, there are also some street performances where the dragon dance takes place. And I've got a little video here to show you of that. The 15th day is the final day of the celebrations and it's also known as the Lantern Festival. Dragon dances and lion dance parades take place in the streets and the streets are crowded with people. Family walk streets carrying the lit lanterns. Candles are also lit outside homes to guide wayward spirits away. The Lantern Festi Festival is a bright and happy way to end the celebrations. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you any videos of this happening. However, I've put some links there that if you are able to, you can, at the end of the, the video, you can put them into a search and have a little look at them. They're not very long, but they are very interesting to watch. This is also another video of a Chinese girl telling us about her experience during the Chinese New Year again. It's an interesting watch, boys and girls. So if you have time, you could put that again into a search to watch it. Chinese New Year in Scotland. Well, many of the traditions are continued by people celebrating Chinese New Year all over the world. It's a very, very popular celebration. And this also happens in Scotland. Every day sees several fantastic events, which all explore a part of the Chinese culture. And many involve a little Scottish twist too. So here we can see a little um, image of the Edinburgh Castle and the biggest Chinese New Year celebration in Scotland is in fact in Edinburgh. In Edinburgh, the Chinese New Year Festival is on for the full two weeks and we'll see lots of celebrations taking place across the city. The Edinburgh Castle is lit up in red lights as in Chinese culture we know that that symbolises luck, joy and happiness. Okay, true or false? Ready? So again, just shout out the answers at the screen. The Chinese New Year Festival lasts for 15 days. Well done. That is, in fact, true. The Chinese years are named after 12 different animals. Great. Well done. That's true as well. We, we heard that throughout the the video. 2021 is named after the pig. Good, that is false. You are right if you're shouting out that no, 2021 is actually named after the ox. Well done. People clean their homes to clear out the bad luck from the year before. Super, that is true. Well done. We do we do this before the new year. Children receive red envelopes on New Year's Eve. That's right. That is actually false. They do receive red envelopes. However, it's on New Year's Day. 
Well done. The celebrations finish on the 15th day with a lantern festival. And that is also true. Well done. Well done, everybody. So we're going to have a little look at some lantern art now. Now, this is not an activity that will take you a long time, but it, you end up with a nice little piece of art at the end of it. So I've made a little video to show you just how to make the art that you can have a little look at. And I hope you enjoy. Bye for now. OK, boys and girls. So I'm going to show you how to make a Chinese lantern now. So you'll need a bit of um, card or thick paper, some scissors and sellotape or a stapler or glue, depending on what you have. Now I've chosen to use red card only because we have seen throughout the video that red is a sign of good luck in the Chinese culture. You might only have white, which is fine. You could do that and decorate it or colour it or any other colour would also be fine to use. So the first thing you're going to do is just cut up the edge like this all the way to the top because this is going to give you the handle that you'll need. So just put that to the side. You're then going to fold your paper, your card in half. Just put it right along the edge. And then you are going to cut up. Now, make sure you're cutting from the closed side to the open side at the top. Cut it up till you're almost near the edge of the, the paper. And you're going to do that all the way along. Till you get to near the end. That's sure. Then you take it, you open it up, and this is where you then just fold it like that. And this is giving you your shape for your lantern. Now this is when you could either glue it at the top, put a little stapler in it, but I have just some sellotape here, because that's perhaps what we've most got in our houses. And you're just sellotaping the top. Sellotaping the bottom, just at the edge, and then that's your lantern that you have there. So you just set that to the side. You've then got your handles. This was, remember, we cut that bit of paper at the start. So you take this and again, sellotape, stapler or glue, just put it, I would put it to the inside little bit of sellotape down the inside to stick it, just there like that. Then the other side, just fold it right over so you're getting it at the other side. Take the sellotape and do the same. Just put it to the inside and stick it down. And there you have it, your Chinese lantern. Now you could then perhaps put some decorations on it, stickers if you have them, or you could even maybe put some wishes of good luck or good thoughts because that's what we heard also that the Chinese like to do with their lanterns. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing any creations that you come up with. Bye!